experienced stock people pick up on changes in their chickens in a number of ways, using sound, smell, and observations of how birds are behaving. What is often called activity can be more broadly be called the behavior of the flock. Behavior describes the actions of birds, such as sparring or dust bathing. The behavior of broilers tells us a lot about their well-being, which can impact on the performance of the flock. Taking time to observe what chickens are doing is an important tool for managing broiler welfare and performance. Chickens have been farmed for over 8,000 years, but despite many years of domestication, the types of behaviours shown by today's broilers has not changed from their wild ancestors. Both ancestral and modern broilers display a wide range of behaviours. Taken out of the wild environment, modern broilers still want to perform these behaviours even though the need to perform these behaviours may no longer be there. For example, although we provide feed to broilers ad lib, Broilers are still driven to search for food. This is why they will peck and scratch at the litter. Performing certain behaviours can be rewarding for broilers for two reasons. Firstly, they can directly receive something they value from performing the behaviour, such as uncovering a loose bit of food after scratching at the litter. Secondly, they are able to satisfy an instinct to perform that behaviour. Much like if you have an itch, there is nothing better than scratching it this can be the same for broilers wanting to dust bathe. Other than dust bathing, other positive behaviours to encourage in your flocks are interacting with enrichment items such as bales or pecking objects, running, jumping and wing flapping, scratching at the litter. Birds being able to scratch up and dust bathe also indicates good litter quality. Litter is one of the best enrichments for your chickens. Good litter is great for positive bird behaviours but also reduces levels of hockburn and footpad dermatitis, improving both bird performance and quality. An experienced stock person will use observation of positive behaviours to determine whether housing conditions are good and to understand whether a flock is well or suffering from an infection or disease. Although there will be differences in how often these behaviours are performed by different breeds and ages of birds, it is important to understand what behaviours are good and normal for that age and system. This comes from practice and experience. Observing a change in behaviour can be a first indication that something is wrong, therefore knowing what is normal for a flock is really important. To get a feel of what is normal or good for a flock, try watching one house a day for at least five minutes. You need to take time out of your day to go into the house to specifically watch your birds. As you approach the house, it should smell faintly of chicken. There should not be any overly strong smells. Before you enter the house, listen to the birds' vocalizations. Listen to the sounds that the birds are making. You are listening for gentle chatter from the birds. Extreme or no sounds may indicate a problem. After knocking, enter the house. A normal flock will move away from you calmly Choose a bale to sit on and watch your birds. Look out for the positive behaviours previously mentioned, namely interacting with enrichment items, running, jumping, wing flapping, scratching at the litter and dust bathing. In addition to these behaviours, a normal flock will be using feeders and drinkers evenly. When birds are resting, they will rest in small groups of birds evenly distributed throughout the house. Throughout the day, a flock will form a routine pattern of feeding, drinking and resting. Try observing birds at different times of the day, such as when the lights first come on. This will help you to understand what is normal. If you observe anything different to what we have just described, it could indicate that there is a problem with the housing, management or health of the flock. This could be due to problems with your ventilation, feeder or drinker lines, lighting, a disease challenge or house temperature. These should all be double checked if your birds are telling you something is wrong. Watch your birds to become familiar with flock behaviour so you can spot when something is not quite right. Provide an environment that promotes positive behaviours as this will really improve the well-being of your flock. Ensuring good litter quality is maintained throughout the crop will encourage many of these behaviours.